Now let's take a look at how we can sense magnetic fields with a Hall effect sensor. These are really good for measuring things like rotation of a wheel in a wet or dirty environment or measuring linear actuators because we don't actually have to touch anything to create a button. And that's the code we're gonna look at. We're actually gonna use the debounce code that's built into the Arduino IDE to look at how this sensor works. So let's get started. After looking at the data sheet, I was able to determine a few things. Number one, this one you have to be a little careful with how you look at it. From the top down, it kind of looks like this. It's a little angular. And this is how we're going to connect it. Pin one right here is going to be connected to positive five volts. Pin two here is going to be connected to ground. Pin three is going to be connected to digital in two of the Arduino. And the last connection we need to make is this connected to a 10K resistor to positive five volt. And how I'm gonna do that in this diagram, I would actually write it like this. I'm gonna connect it here, over ground, over to here, and use the positive five coming in. So let's go ahead and connect this to the breadboard. Got my breadboard, here's that sensor. And if you remember, it's kind of angled in the front. We can identify pin one would be here on the left. Let's go ahead and put it in the breadboard, right like that. I'm using pin rows one, two, and three. So according to that diagram, row one gets connected to five volts. And I'll go ahead and just put it right into the five volt on the Arduino, being sure that it's unplugged. Pin two goes into ground. Pin three, we're going to listen to on digital pin two over here. And then we have this 10K resistor. And like I showed you on the diagram, the easiest way to get this resistor from pin one to three is to just jump it here from one to three. Done, that's all you need to do to hook this up. So let's go ahead and plug it in load up the Arduino, and let's open up examples, digital debounce. And essentially everything that I just described is right here. The one additional thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put that LED into pin 13. And again, that's just so you can see it on the overhead camera right there. And let's, Upload the code. Port's okay, board's okay. Let's upload it. All right, that should be uploaded. And I've got a magnet here. I actually have a little mark on it. It's faded a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you, mark it just for my reference. This is a unipolar Hall effect sensor. It actually only can sense one of the mag magnetic poles. So be sure to check your data sheet and test it before you do anything permanent. And what I can do is every time I bring this by the sensor, it should toggle that LED on and off. So think about how you could mount this to a wheel and measure every time there's a rotation, or if you had a linear actuator, every time something opens and closes. It has a lot of very useful and practical applications, especially because I don't need to make contact with it. I just go close to it. Close is close enough. This one with this particular magnet seems to work at about even up to upwards of about a half an inch away seems to be the, the most distance I can have from this magnet to trigger the Hall effect sensor.